Hey guys, and welcome to another episode, or I should say, chapter of the Lost Chapters. God, that's so fucking clunky. You gotta find something else for that. <laughs> Either way, I'm your host, Roman. We're missing John, because, well, fuck him, he had something to do, so I'm not gonna hold it against him, but I just hate him. Uh, but, as another, I guess, guest host at this point, we have... Mm-hmm. I'm not John. That's my name. <laughs> not John. I'm still gonna bring. Yeah, not John. I mean, I mean, it's all right. I'm bringing it. <laughs> I thought you were gonna go with like, uh, like uh, some something Warhammer related. I thought you were gonna make up a name, like you're gonna be like Legion Praetor of the fucking Tenth Company of Crimson Fist, fucking. <laughs> Yeah, it seems Pedro Pastorius. Pastorius, or uh, the uh, was it the second the second prime mark of the Fem Marines? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, man, that uh, um, what is it? Warhammer forty k Heresy Post. It's fucking, mm. it's fucking gold. There's so many fucking <laughs> stupid memes on there. I like that uh, everyone's under the banner of that uh, Danny guy or whatever. Oh, yeah, Danny Ford, Ford, Fortuna? Or some shit. Yeah, 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 I think so. I'm like, god damn it. So, so many spicy memes. I think since uh, 1D4chan is down, I guess that's why they're all clamoring down over, over there. Oh, is 1D4chan down? I didn't even, I honestly didn't even know. I, I think it's been down for a while. Really? Now, oh. but because I, yeah, I wanted to double check because I just wanted to see some stupid meat stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, it's been down for a while. I'm, it sure. it. I'm checking it right now because I have a couple of things bookmarked. And... I should check something on the fisting and down. Oh. Uh... I don't know. It's been up. I don't know. Maybe it's like new shit because Maybe. I have um uh one D four chan up for Warhammer Eighth Edition Lizardman tactics and mm. um uh, it's it's loaded right up. So I don't know. See, I had one for Krieg for seventh edition, mm-hmm. but now when I whenever I just go back to one D four chan, it's not on. It's not on there. That is strange. I found an archive that archives one before chan, but that's a, at the moment no. Interesting. I'm gonna have to do a little deeper dive into that. Pretty much. Because one d four chan, if you don't know already, is a really good uh, resource for uh, just especially like Warhammer and shit like that. Um, Don't be surprised. They they have a good chunk of the tactics now and. Uh, if you want to read lore in a in a very uh, which way? How am I supposed to phrase this? A layman's a layman's term with a lot of uh, racial slurs sprinkled all over it. Check that out. <laughs> I haven't checked out the lore section, so I've been dodging a lot of that that racist uh, <laughs> shit, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, John's not here. I don't know what kind of hobby he's done. I'm just going to assume none. Even though he said, he did say... I actually hmm? actually stopped by his place Mm -hmm. maybe last, this this Monday. Mm -hmm. So he was doing some things. Interesting. He was, uh, I probably, I don't know if I I should speak for him, but I saw something, so I'll just leave it at that. Fair enough. He did say that he was, um, painting earlier today because he was like doing some grilling outside or barbecuing whatever smoking i don't don't know what the technical shit is but uh he was cooking outside he was he said he was painting now i don't know if he really was i can never trust him at face value when it comes to anything hobby because most of the time for his hobby it's just buying shit and buying shit that he has no intention of ever playing, so I don't know why he buys it. 
But, uh, yeah. So, uh, games played. I don't think he had a games played. Because I know you most, and him were scheduling most one. To, most to play, but some things came up the last minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, doing the house husband stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But. We were supposed to. I was going to bring. We were doing a thousand points. We were going to do ninth edition. Because I guess he's trying to prepare for. for guess the GT that's coming up? Yes. The. Um, what? Alamo. It's the. I believe it's just the Alamo GT. Red Star Alamo GT. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to get. Just to get caught up on ninth edition. Because I have not played a single game just yet. Yeah. Uh, I haven't either. Um. I guess we we can just go into games played because like ninth edition, it's not that I don't want to give it a fair shake. It's just I don't know it's if not, I want to play with dead enough. Yeah, yeah, it's still it's still baby brand new. I can't fucking I can't play it. Uh, no, it's it's just the fact that it's I'm not very social. I'm not if if I'm like anything, I'm like the classic like introverted nerd that you always hear about so you're the uh stereotypical millennial today where you're anxious about everything yeah but i actually am anxious i'm not lying about it just to like you know get shit on uh for people to interact with me on facebook um yeah <laughs> or twitter or plug in your favorite social media uh no like <laughs> it's it, it is difficult for me to like gather up the strength to play and it's easier with like y'all like you and john and like people that actually know it's easier at that point but i do know that after the game i'm fucking drained like i don't want to do anything after the game like i literally want to be like hey that's cool man thanks for the game want to shake hands whatever and then i'm out and i don't i want fucking nothing to do with it like i want to go home and like fall asleep it's that it's weird but uh, I did play two games, pretty mm-hmm. pretty much like a, a Saturday and Sunday game. So Saturday, I I played a brand new game, uh, Kings of War Armada. So it's, oh, yeah, yeah, boat battle. Yeah, buddy, boat battles all day. I'm in it. Um, so much so that I bought the two player starter. So I have um. A human faction called the Basalians, or but I think it's called they're called Basalians. I don't know how that's pronounced. Fuck it. Um, and then uh, the other half of the two-player starter is orcs, and okay. both really cool, awesome. Uh, our resident big dog fucking retailer in town, uh, Heroes Retreat, uh, just got in a uh, another fleet of. Empire of the Dead, which is basically Tomb Kings. Uh, so it's Tomb King boats, and I'm fucking in. Because they have like... Is, is this fantasy version of boats, then? Yes, it is fantasy version of boats. Yeah. So this is like their... Uh, is that Gothic Battleship? No, yeah, no. This isn't this is <laughs> Battlefleet Gothic, which is another game that I want to get into. Um, but... Because that one's fucking... Dead. That was dead as shit. It's been dead as shit for like, I want to say like ten years. So, it's prime, baby. It's prime for me. Um, but the good thing about uh, Kings of War Armada is it's very simple. Um, everything is basically listed on your card, like your movement, um, nerve, which is basically like your leadership. Um, mm-hmm. You have a crew skill, um, which just determines um, like how many attacks you get, like in close combat um, because there's just different mechanics in it but it's very simple now the very cool thing about this game is that it's i've been playing warhammer shit for a good amount of years and i'm not good i'm fucking terrible i'll talk about my heresy game in a bit but um this game ended up in a tie because we were we were it was a mirror match um robert Steele who's another uh, member of Red Star. Um, Steeler. Yeah, the steel man. Steel. <laughs> um, the, yeah, steel from fucking Superman comics. Deep cuts, bitch. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, but 
uh, we were basically playing the Basalians. We had the same ships. I could have been an asshole and brought, like, because they have different sizes of ships. So they have, um, they have Tiny, which is fucking, they're adorable. They're like on little 30 by 30 squares, and it's two little ships on, on a base. Fucking adorable. Um, so they have tiny ships. They have small, um, medium, large, and they're going to and bring out. Menti. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Menti. Yeah, they're going to bring out extra large ships uh, in July. And fucking in July, they're going to bring out flyers. So fucking uh, Empire of the Dead have fucking own fucking dragons that they're summoning to the fucking sea. Um, so like the whole thing is that um, it was always there if you look at the artwork. The artwork in, in the rule book uh, shows you that there's like this uh, sh- these ships that are crashing into like not crashing but they're um, attacking like. Uh, a fortress of some kind, like a sea, like a, like a, I guess like a beach fortress, I guess you could say. I have no idea how you would say that. Uh, but you could see also that there was little zeppelins. So like dwarves, uh, who are another faction in there, who have like steam-powered boats, um, they're going to get like a zeppelin-type airship, which I think is just fucking cool because like it adds... The game itself is just really simple and shows you that, like, um, deployment and uh, movement is key. Like, movement in that game is everything. Because if you fuck up, you can take, like, a massive damage. Um, if somebody, like, uh, it's called a, uh, a rake. So, a rake is just, like, basically, you're able to see either, like, the, the front or the back of the ship. Uh, and your like broadsides of the ship, everything is within there. I can see it, so it takes like double or triple damage. So it's fucking sick. Uh, I do honestly love the game. Uh, like I was saying before, HR has the Empires of the Dead, and I asked them like, "Hey, is that spoken for?" And he said, "We got it just for you." <laughs> Because they, they knew I was the only <laughs> asshole that was ever going to fucking buy it or play it. So, thankfully... Like just scoffed at you and you're just like... Fuck. Exactly. And I'm sure it was because of Mike. Uh, Mike Blanton. He's uh, a good buddy. Uh, who... Me and him basically like went whole hog into this game. He's all dwarves and I'm fucking... I'm everything. It is. I'm eventually going to have all the fleets. Like, I've decided I like the game that much. And so I would, I would like to play that game. Uh, yeah, for some reason. I don't know why. Like, I've never, I've never been a boat guy. I don't even know how to fucking swim. So, like, <laughs> I don't even know why. It's just, like, it's for some reason, it just hit me as, like, a really cool skirmish game. And I'm not a really big skirmish guy. I, I, I wouldn't say I hate. I was gonna, I was about to. But I don't necessarily like skirmish games. I think, I don't know, I, I it, it's just not as cool to me for some reason, but in the right in the right kind of shit, it can be. So this game in particular, I liked it. Um, it's 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 how can I explain it? Uh, you have a fleet. Uh, ba- mm-hmm. You're you're going to have like a small game is like 150 points. A bigger okay. a bigger game goes to like 250 or as high as you want, basically. Um, but for every 50 points of the game, you have to have at least one ship. So in a 150-point game, you have to have at least three ships. Now, you can choose whichever ships that's going to be. If you want three extra large ships, then fuck it. You can have that as long as you have the points for it. But there also is upgrades. Like you can upgrade your crew to like a veteran crew so that they get more attacks. And their uh, certain uh, skill checks are easier. Um, but it's a very fun game. The movement is key, like I said. Um, you so, like, smaller boats are move faster, bigger boats are just, like, more uh, weapon-heavy weapon or something? It's a little bit of little both. Bit of both. Right? Because, like, because, the like, the small ship actually okay. has a fairly... Uh, it has a, uh, like, I'll take the Basalian uh, fleet. Um, the small ship, and I 
probably should have gotten it ready if I was going to talk about it, but fuck it. I've never done that. Um, it has like a little cannon on it. And the cannon looks like it's on a pedestal that can move around. So it's an indirect okay. it's an indirect weapon. So it only has one weapon. And I've noticed that movement sort of caps off at like five. At least for Basalians. I've noticed that no matter the size of the ship, it usually goes about five. Now, it's it's just five inches uh, forward facing. The thing is that um, you have four different speeds. I guess three different, but one is anchored. So you can uh, anchor your boat and stay there. Uh, yeah. Then you have... Um, I want to say it's combat speed, which is just uh, just one move and one uh, wheel. And there's like a little um, there's like a little template that you put on the back of the ship, and it lets you know um, how far you can how wheel. Far. Yeah, like okay. the the max of your wheel. Um, so after you move, you can wheel, uh, or if you anchor, you can. So it's an easy way for you to like if you're gonna if you're heading towards the edge of the map, you can anchor if you've done it right, and then you can like switch your you you every turn you can turn until you can go farther. Okay. Now you have combat, which is one movement, um, battle, which is two movement, and full, which is three movement. The thing is, you can't go into anyone that you want. So when you start off the game. I believe, and I again, I, I'm still learning it, but I believe the first turn you can go as fucking far as you want. But you either have to the next turn that boat has to stay at that speed, or can only go down one. Or if it starts okay. at like it can only go up or down one. It can never like go from like uh, anchored to full speed because it just it doesn't work like that in real life. So it's I it, guess. <laughs> it just it. I mean. You don't in a on a yeah. ship if you have a fucking motorboat, yeah, it's fine. They don't have motorboats, <laughs> bitches. Fucking fantasy. Uh, so you have sailboats. Um, you got like slaves that they, that paddle the boats. Or oh something? yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. They, I haven't done a deep dive into the lore of Kings of War. All I know is that it's just Panathor is like the world, um, but it's. If you don't know, Kings of War came around because Warhammer Fantasy was indie. So it was one of like yeah. the two games that came around. Uh, Mantic had, had been a company. Um, and Ronnie, I think is the dude's name, um, actually worked Yo. at... <laughs> uh, I don't remember, Ronnie Renton, I believe. I think he commented on one of my, like, my ships on Instagram. So I was like, hey, fucking, that's pretty cool. Um, nice. but he worked at Games Workshop, and then he eventually quit. He, he eventually did like leave and started Mantic, um, who produces a lot of the Kings of War stuff. Um, I haven't done a deep dive on again, so like I don't know if it's like any if it's like grim, dark, or anything, or if it's just kind of like a lighter type of fantasy with like these sort of like chaosy elements in there. Like, there are Chaos Dwarves, essentially. They're called um, Abyssal Dwarves. Um, yeah. There's basically Chaos, but I think they're called the... I think they're called Abyss. Um, and then there's, like, Nightmares and things like that. So, th there is some really cool stuff in there. Like, some of the lore seems cool. I don't know how, like, in-depth I'll, I'll get into it. But I do know that there is a Panathor with so there actually is a website where you can look at some of this shit and do like a little deeper dive, which I might do tonight, maybe as I fall asleep. Really know about them boats, kind of oak they're using, kind of wood they put on there. Exactly. And I'm already like fucking like, all right, so my Basalians are going to have nice wood. So, you know, it's like a vibrant fucking like uh, really like rich brown. And then like the orcs are going to use like rotten fucking like redded wood and like fucking just sh like shit wood that they can find so i'm thinking of like a whole other color scheme for them um of course my basalians the basalians are supposed to be like white and blue i fuck that off and i kind of just changed it a little bit so now it's like a uh, ivory and of course my favorite fucking color turquoise i think turquoise is kind of like 
my favorite color now. Um, but it's gonna incorporate in everything you do. It's like me with purple. Exactly. It's just fucking. It. It's there. Like it's it's gotta be in there somewhere. Um, I haven't figured out how I'm gonna work it into Dark Angels, but I'm gonna fucking do it. I'm, I'm gonna find a way. Uh, probably in bases. Um, but yeah, uh, Kings of War Armada again. I don't know if I want to put it out there because I'm not the best at teaching shit. Um, but I would be open to at least showing people the game, uh, or at least point them in the right direction for it. So. Kings of War Armada gets it's a big thumbs up for me. I do like that game, uh, especially when they're gonna put in flyers. I'm excited about that. Um, so yeah, there's that. The question, the big question is, did you win though? No, it was a draw. It was an absolute like we basically killed the same ships. Uh, we had we had the, the same four ships from the starter. Um, like I, like I said, I could have been an asshole and. and brought um the extra large ship but i thought i thought it would have been like an asshole move especially like the first game where i'm trying to learn i'm like i'm trying to learn with this big ass ship like it's just it's that's not me um so uh but it we basically just took out two ships each they were the same exact ships uh and we tied that was it but i mean what what more can you can you want from a Fucking learning game. It was literally my first game, and I'm learning this bullshit. It's a fucking, a fucking victory. That was fucking sweet. That'd be a cherry on the top. It would be, but I'm fine with the tie. Like I've yeah, never. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Sportsmanship. It's not I even sportsmanship. I, I just don't care about winning. Like I just, I love fucking ships, bro. I was like, what do you want from me? And I, I was talking about this to a coworker. I was like, yeah, man, it's weird that like the all these ships, and he's like. Are you one of those fucking dudes that builds ships and bottles? I'm like, fuck that. I don't have enough fucking time for that. <laughs> like, I don't have enough patience. Like, that's like another level of patience. Like, I... judged. Yeah, I'm fucking hating every second of Edge highlighting this fucking, these things. And I have so many more to go. I, I don't know what why I'm going to do. Why don't you just do like a, why don't you do like a dry brush of because like. because I've never liked the way it looks. I've seen it. I just don't like the way it looks. For and especially for like my th- these are my babies. They're, they're dark angels. They're they're. Yeah. I'm I'm first legion all the way. There's no, and and it's heresy. Like come on, I'm I'm, mm. I'm jacking off to these nightly. So. I got you. I got you. You love you love how the lines of master tactician that gave. That siege cannon to the siege guy. You're damn right. Hey, bro, he's always he's thinking 10 steps ahead. Sometimes those 10 steps ahead are in opposite directions, but it doesn't matter. He's still fucking thinking. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> yeah, it's fucking, it's such a, like, fucking thing where he's like, hey, fucking dad's gonna need a new fucking war master after Horus has been an oh, asshole. Yes, if you, uh, yeah. if I give you these weapons, uh, do I got your vote? He's like, uh, Fucking Peter Rob being a shit bag of the heat. He's like, oh yeah, totally, bro. Fucking, I love yeah. you. Totally. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, remember how we voted for the last War Master? Yeah, totally. You got my vote. <laughs> yeah, fucking lion. You know, I, I, uh, I, I've said it before. I think I'm autistic. I've never had a test, but I think I am. <laughs> so, like, I identify with autistic uh, Lionel Johnson. Uh, so, I'm, I'm in. I'm in on him. In on his boys. <laughs> I have had some power weapons right now. I'd be shooting them off of the back. Mm-hmm. I'd fucking have... Blow my hand off? Sure, why not? Yeah, fucking do it. You blow my hand off, I'll get a fucking cy- uh, a cyber one. I'll, I'll still get the same fucking weapon. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it still has some of my original fingers on it. Who cares? Uh, but but yeah. Um, Your second game. My second game was actually Horse Heresy. It was some 30k. Uh, now it was it was 3k of uh, my Luna Wolves uh, fighting Alfredo's uh, I guess Night House. I I don't necessarily know if he has like if he's using rules for any like specifically. 
uh, or like mm-hmm. the the lore behind his stuff. He does have them painted all differently, and he has a reason for it. He didn't get too much into it, but he has a reason for it. Um, and here's the thing: I'm not a good player. I haven't played this game in a year. I forgot Ooh, every fucking rule imaginable. Like one rule that was like, oh, I could have just won the game um, in one turn. And I fucking didn't even... I, I just did it. I don't remember all these rules. Like like I said before, 7th what, edition... What rule was that? Rule um, was that? that um, what is it? Um, as long as you learn from your mistakes. Oh, yeah. Um, vehicles can't be necessarily tied in combat in 7th because they don't have a weapon skill. So when okay. something when something uh, uh, charges into it, it can attack it. And all its attacks succeed because they're auto hits. Like it doesn't have a weapon skill, so it's just hitting. But if that combat isn't resolved, which in some cases it was, like some some of my land raiders and and uh, I believe my Spartan um, and a couple of rhinos, like they they were destroyed um, just because of stomp attacks, uh, because of, like the the D uh, the D weapons that it basically has. So. It was it was able to destroy those, but I had a bane blade, and that bane blade could have just like backed up an inch and just fucking shot one of the knights, killed it probably in one turn and exploded it. That my thing is that we rolled for the ambush um, battle layout, which is uh, the one the defender has a circle basically like a 30, 36 inch circle for them to deploy in, and uh, the attacker has the uh, long table edges, or I guess short. I don't know how you want to say it. Um, I think it's long, and they're only it's only 12 inches in. Um, the thing is, I gave Alfredo first turn. I shouldn't have done that. Um, I just wasn't thinking. It was fucking noon. I had one cup of coffee. I didn't sleep very well. Um, and like I said, I'm not very good at this game. I just wasn't thinking properly. So uh, I gave him first turn. He started blowing up a whole bunch of shit, and I called it like at turn two, because uh, turn two, like he was doing some stuff, like he was selling some like cards and stuff that were like on the side. So so the game okay. ended up taking up like a two hour, like two turns ended up taking like an hour and a half, because like we were it like uh, we were like looking up rules, and he was just as rusty as I was. So like it's okay. it's not Good. even. Yeah, it's it's once I play more games of 30k okay. and I'm getting more reacquainted, uh, then this is another first game have fun. Exactly, exactly. It's another first game have fun. Like I'm like they're my Luna Wolves. Like I figured out like the only thing that's missing from my Luna Wolves essentially is a fast attack Hard slot. Mark. I have I have Horus. I haven't painted. The only thing is I don't. I think I broke off like one of his hands, like his claws. I think I broke off like two or three of them. Can't find them, so I'm gonna have to buy another one. Um, so I need fast attacks, and I was thinking like, oh, I should just get like some Xiphons because I love Xiphons. I've always wanted them. I should get them. Um, and then like me and John were talking about, it. it's like they never really describe in any of the books that Horus uses like any fucking fast attacks. Like he basically uses like dudes. Drop pods, and terminators. and like terminators and tanks. Yeah, like he uses tanks like a motherfucker. So I was like, oh, and like my force is tank heavy already. So I was like, well, there is a fast attack tank. So there is a fast attack tank, uh, which you is the same. Very orky right there. Yeah, I know. Oi, oh, you get um, tacky, tacky, fasty orkies. Just paid it red. Um, so yeah, a saber. Um, a saber is a fast attack. Um, there's really, it, there's really one loadout that's probably the best. It's basically a multi melta and a las gun or a las cannon equivalent. It's like strength A AP two kind of thing. Uh, I, I don't remember what the gun is. But um, that's probably the best loadout. But cool thing is, it has fucking Volkite, so you can just put some. I'm gonna buy some Volkite, fucking 
uh, things on there and start blasting some fucking humies whenever fucking I can. Uh, so yeah, I, I will, and, and I figured out the, the list, if, if I build the list, even without um, Horus or like the Bane Blade or anything like that, like anything big, uh, I can add in those sabers and have a 3,000 point list. So if we're doing... Or do you have a Loken to throw in there? I do have a Loken, yes. I just haven't painted oh. it. I have, I have the Loken and Abaddon, yeah. Mm-hmm. Crybaby Abaddon. Yeah, he's just there. I mean, fucking, I'll just use his head for fucking something. Underneath Logan's boot or something. Um, but, uh, oh yeah, I did. Because I took the time to magnetize two bases. Because his display base is on a 25. But his game base is a 32. So I actually magnetized his foot. For each of those bases, I'm like, I wasted a whole bunch of time. I'm just gonna buy. I just, I'll just buy a second one if I want to do like a display. I'm not doing display models. I'm doing like game pieces. So yeah, I'll just glue them to a 32. Um, but I haven't done so just yet. Um, but yeah, that game was it was fun. Like it was fun just because I had like a whole bunch of tanks and there was a whole bunch of terminators in those tanks and. There was a few tech squads, and like I said, if I just would have uh, gotten first turn, even if I wasn't, because I had the choice of being attacker and defender, and attacker and defender isn't wasn't tied to being first or second, um, so I should have just taken first turn and attacker, and I would have just killed like I would have killed at least three of his knights. He had one, two, three, four, five, six seven knights i think it would have taken out at least three if i would have focused fired and killed one of them they if you don't know like when you kill a a knight they have a titanic blast which is an apocalyptic uh blast which is a pie plate that's like two feet long um it's gigantic so it's gonna hit like fucking everything it's in its vicinity um but if i would have just focused fire like on one of them um, it would have probably fallen onto another, um, but that's the the thing about knights is everybody says like, oh, knights are so fucking scary, like they're so broken, blah blah blah. They're not really. You just have to focus on one, take one down, uh, because they do hit hard. But as soon as they lose one, it's a major deficit for them because they have such few models. You you can only take. I mean, so it, it was a three k game. What you're saying is. Because the explosion, you take one down, it passes it around. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and then That's there's good. only five Imperial Knights on the field. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> five Imperial Knights on the field, five Imperial Knights. You blow and one I'm up right. in the APOC blast and there's only four Imperial Knights hey. on the field. <laughs> I'm glad you got that for it. As I was watching you, watching the cogs slowly turn. I'm telling you, man, my I'm fucking dumb. Like I don't know why people say like, "Oh, you're kind of, you're a smart guy." I'm like, I don't know who the fuck says this because I'm I feel like I'm just a complete jackass, and my brain turns. That's why I say I'm like autistic. Like, something's not right with my brain. Like clearly, <laughs> that or I was gonna I was gonna stay as quiet as long as I could. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's fucking that or fucking years of drug abuse that have fucking rotted my brain. But either way, uh, but yeah, either way, it was a fun game. Um, now that I know what I know, I'm like, okay, I can I can really take it down. Um, but I gotta say, I was playing with my Luna Wolves. I'm like, this is cool, but my heart's not in it right now. Like my heart's in my in my DA right now. Like I have to finish DA. And I have I have so much shit to do for it. Like there's it's I'm just gonna have to uh, do I'm gonna have to do this. What's the, what's the time what's the time what's the time counter before you hit your big uh three sixty five? Uh as of today it is three thirty six. So Ooh. it's basically twenty days and there's no fucking way in hell. I can possibly paint all these jet bikes in twenty days. That's if uh, but I also, uh, 
I also do. It's actually twenty. It's actually twenty nine days. You have at least a month. Is so. it twenty nine days? Oh, that's right. It's it's thirty. So that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I also have to do this, which I don't know if you can see. It's a gene stealer. It's a gene stealer. It's that um. Cowboy gene stealers. Yeah. What is it called? A ge ge Geller. Keller, Keller morph, Keller morph. I believe. I believe. Um, yeah, I, I basically have to, to. I I forgot when, and I completely forgot. This is my fault. Um, when I was turning in the Gene Steer cult um, commission that I had done earlier this year, actually, earlier last year. Um, that when I turned it in, the guy was like, hey, I have two Keller more set. If you could paint up. He's like, there's no rush on it. Terrible thing to do to me. Don't, if you, I, I'm going to do this as a person that cares. If you are going to enlist me as a commission painter, if you find that my, my painting is something that you like, give me a deadline and give me a strong deadline because I will fuck off until that deadline. I am very much... The work under pressure guy, and I can knock out a lot of shit under pressure. Um, so, just a heads up: if you do like any of my painting <clears throat> stuff, um, and you're gonna commission me out, give me a, a hard deadline if you honestly want it for something in the near future. Uh, but I have to paint those up, um, so I'll probably try to paint those up, finish off these bikes. I think I can get those bikes done. Um, by the year mm -hmm. anniversary um, but I'm starting to think of like maybe I should start doing like a centurion kind of slow grow with the dark angels and really just build it from there. build it from there start off like at a at a thousand because 500 points in fucking heresy is literally nothing um, yeah it's, it's nothing like 500 points is shit it doesn't do anything um, so a thousand points is kind of a starter. Um, I might be able to work with that. So I might start, start going from like the standard, uh, thousand to like the 15 to the two to 2.5 to three. Um, but we'll see, we'll see what happens there. Um, but that is it for my games. Why don't you talk about some hobby products? I know you've been painting up some shit. I'm fucking John it up. I haven't really done a whole lot. But one thing I really worked on was I think last time was Raid Soldiers. Uh, just dance. I'm in a band dancing around it. I'm too scared to paint the paint the uh, riders. Why? I have the horse. It's, I don't know. Because, okay, so I primed them all white. Mm -hmm. I'll just cut this part out real quick. I will not because I do not like See. editing. So, what I will do is I'll keep talking until he comes back. Hopefully, it's not that long. So, hey, there we go. Now I don't have to fucking edit shit because I vamp. The one thing that I tell all my fucking friends to do on the other podcasts and never listen. But, go ahead. <laughs> all right. So, right now I'm working on... Let me see. It's pretty good. Okay. Now I'll prime white. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not bad. No, it looks good. But... Look at it, and it's all brown, right? Mm -hmm. So I tried doing some contrast paint. Okay. And that's a dark brown. And I hit it the first time, and I was like, no, you know, I'm done. not too bad. There's a couple of white spots in there that I kind of missed again. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, the light parts came out. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? Let's go in for another shade. Let's see if we can make it a little darker. Mm -hmm. And I got it all completely brown. <laughs> so. Okay. Uh, what? But I think so. What what I'm gonna do next is since I got it all brown or whatever, it looks all blue. Um, add some colors already, and I'm just gonna have to slowly just build up from there. Cause I was hoping that maybe I could just do some contrast paints. Uh, next ones I'll probably just uh, dilute the color a little more. Mm -hmm. Then I was just hopefully just a fucking slap it on, just kind of let it go, but. Looks like I'm just gonna have to just go and uh, build up, layer it up. At least for that one, yeah. Um, yeah. Why don't you?
take a little bit of your device and do a dry brush. Instead of doing like the up and down dry brush, do a buffing. So like get yourself little, now. Little circles. Here. Yeah, and one thing I can suggest because I have actually used these um, are these Army Painter dry brushes. They're called the Master Master <laughs> Master Class Moderate Dry Brush. So this is a this is a medium, I think. Um, yeah, it's definitely the medium. Uh, it's twenty bucks. You get three of these. You get like a small, a medium, and a large. And mm -hmm. basically, it makes dry brushing a whole lot easier. Um, if you just get some of your layer paints, uh, I would suggest still thinning them down because I don't like doing straight dry brushing. I like doing. Yeah. I like doing like. I've done some of it. It comes out a little, little thick. Yeah. I like use some life, life makeup brushes. Yes. These basically what these are. So if she has extra shitty makeup brushes that she's not using, or if you have a soap that can fucking wash them, um, go ahead and do that. So I suggest a buffing motion uh, because you have like the the horse has like these thick like uh, muscle groups. Yeah, you can see them on there. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I have to do. But honestly, from there. Uh, just been cleaning a lot of stuff. I think I'm actually gonna sell off uh, some stuff. What stuff? I'm gonna sell off the Admic. Okay. I think it. Off Admic, and I might sell off uh, my sex elves, even though I barely got to it. Oh, really? Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Problem. Why? Well, what's what's? Uh, I don't know. It's just it's like. I, I now realize I'm like, I'm never going to get to it. And then plus, I'm going to be, as soon as I leave, be out there. So, you know, mm -hmm. I as well focus on the, the shit that I have right now. Yeah. And if you just... I actually got to, like, I painted mostly custodians, which I've been trying to get the jetpack ones ready. At least if I'm going to play some ninth edition games or heresy or whatever, at least cook. Custodians will be the one I can be able to play with you guys in any game format besides old old seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That was the whole thing with with me and uh, Mark. Is for some reason we had in our head we're gonna do like we're gonna do fucking Elf Civil War. We're gonna do Seventh Edition. <laughs> and I think I talked him into Seventh Edition more than anything. Um, so that's my fault. Um, but I still have my Eldar. I'm still gonna play it for fucking uh, Heresy and for Seventh Ed. Um, if I can, if I can get the Creed going, then I can do Creed Seventh Edition. But yeah, it seems like Admic I've been sitting on since like ever first when I first started the game. When I first started, the game, I got my first Rust Stalkers and I painted some of them up, and they didn't really last very long. Mm -hmm. I have a big ass army, so chances are I'm getting all that together. Like I'm dancing on it. To sell it, and it's just my wife, she's like, nah, You don't have to sell it if you don't want to. And I'm like, Yeah, maybe they don't got to sell it. <laughs> hey, they're coming out with a new book for nine. It looks like they're gonna be fucking good. I think, yeah, I think they're doing that a lot, especially like with uh, with Drukari right now. Drukari's like fucking raping the face out there. It's like, it's like a... Yeah, I, I was thinking about that. I was like, Well. As of right now, if you think about it, taking just 8th edition uh, and like how they rolled out codexes, if it wasn't for COVID, we would have been a lot more codexes deep and everybody wouldn't be bitching uh, so much about different shit. Like, oh, fucking Marines are this or like Dark Angels. Because it's just everyone gets better and better. But it's because yeah. they're making these in like groups where they're like, oh, like they're supposed to kind of even each other out. Like they're they're not. There's of course going to be like a bigger. Uh, there's going to be some armies that just perform better than others, just naturally. But it's not going to be as vast if there's more codexes out for ninth edition. And unfortunately, that's just yeah. not the case. Like, so I think that's the problem and why everybody's bitching about it. I'm like, well, you really shouldn't be bitching because as of right now, it's just slowed down. A couple a couple of things I've heard, especially like with Drakari, is uh, go out there, you know, a lot of the meta today is real elite-based, especially with Marines. Mm -hmm. 
the gravis armor sort of not really bringing out a lot of the chaff and Drukari will just go and just fucking mince me the majority of them someone was also saying that it's also kind of like a, a shadow buff for stuff like especially guard like well since everyone's real elite based right now and that's what Drukari slowly getting through it's kind of buffing a lot of the uh uh, horde type armies where you just bring up like a screen because a lot of people who are playing marines are not really doing screens mm-hmm. and I guess if you screen uh, witches at a certain point you can kind of bypass it mm-hmm. like if you get first turn chances are you're going to win against the Jukari because they're a real glass cannon you know I mean it kind of works out you just got to wait till all the codexes come up like you said yeah it's, it was the same the same thing for the last edition and all that it's whatever. But the thing is, at least someone else is getting their moment in the sun. Mm-hmm. For a while, I mean, shit, no one was playing Marines, let alone classic Marines. And now, okay. guess what? Everyone's fucking playing them. No one's playing Iron Hands. No one was playing Dark Angels. Yeah, and and, so, and everything with like is. Necrons. Like Necrons fucking fell to the wayside real quick once the, once the actual Space Marine mm-hmm. codex came out. They're like, oh, Necrons don't really have anything. So it yeah. it kind of sucks because. Necrons got shafted again because they weren't really played in 8th edition too much. And now in 9th, like, I can honestly say when I look at 9th edition, I'm like, holy fuck, some of these models are badass. The Void Dragon, like, yeah. like all these things are so fucking cool. But nobody's gonna play. And if it's not like a, a Catan army, if it's not like in Void, Void Dragon and Nightbringer. No, no. And that's the thing, it's like it's just like two central pieces and you just have to figure out like which way you're gonna build. You're gonna build with this one central piece or this one central piece. And there's really no like way around it. Um but in in, in any case, like I'm hoping that like getting I'm I'm hoping that there's gonna be more codexes coming out soon. Um but uh any actually, other any actually, other? actually delayed the admit stuff. Yeah, yeah, they were doing they said that there's not going to be like a two week period of pre order. Mm-hmm. Um, I still don't think it's pre order. You're just pre buying. Uh, fucking, Pretty much. It's just horseshit. Um, but yeah. uh, what about any other hobby? Have you done anything else besides uh, Mr. Craig? Uh, besides Craig, just uh, just slowly touching custodies here and there. Mm-hmm. Uh, being away from them for so long kind of gave me more ideas to do conversion pieces. So, the custodians, that's what you gotta do. Because yeah. if not, you're just, gonna, you're just gonna have the same boring poses like everyone else does. Yeah. Like, Again. Pretty much. Exactly. You gotta spice it. You gotta try spice it up. Yeah. I but, mean, not to, not, to, not to dog on anybody, but a lot of people use uh, Storm. Is it Storm? Stormcast. Um, Stormcast from Sigmar, and I'm not, not a big fan of using that yeah it's just because like the you see all this like like uh philography i guess you could say like on like the 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 custodies armor is super ornate and like every part of their armor it's super ornate and then you look at the stormcast and it's kind of like these like smooth like pauldrons and like just like smooth armor so i could see like yeah they don't necessarily mesh the size might be there, but like in terms of actual design, they're they're not relatively similar. Yeah, that's just it. But besides on that, honestly, I was gonna play a game with John. Mm. I was just gonna bring the stories of a thousand points, which it was gonna be like my same three troops, three troops and uh, two HQs. Yeah, yeah, the battalion. Yeah, it was gonna be something real simple, but hopefully. Play what I what I want to do is try to do. I think what I'm gonna do is like uh, mostly mostly things of jetpacks. Same thing with the troops or whatever. Mm-hmm. I think I want to eventually I want to build it up to two thousand points and just kind of like have things of jetpacks. Maybe like a unit of uh, jet bikes with the HQ guy, and then slowly have like the heavy heavy dreadnought. In the background, with the troops slowly sneaking up, mm-hmm. I work on some some shield 
shield and swords because apparently but that's the new fucking hotness right now that everyone's doing mm -hmm. plus i just went straight party and spears because it just seemed about right it looks cool yeah fuck it we look cool baby don't fucking worry about no let's, don't don't worry about fucking good rules just fucking <laughs> rock what's rock what fucking looks good in your heart bro <laughs> it's all about having fun and teamwork and uh Spirit. I got to see what John was gonna play though. He's gonna he's gonna bust out his uh his corn his corn stuff. He's gonna have all the mm. fucking what is skulls with all the demon demon dragons and all that shit. Mm. He's gonna bring the big guys out. I think he was working on some of the he was working on some of the birds berserkers too. Yeah, yeah, he was working on berserkers oh, today. From what he he showed me, he said he was working on them. I don't believe him because he bought them from our good friend Jay, and Jay actually painted his stuff. So I don't believe John. If he says like, "Oh no," like if he says if he actually told me like, "Oh, I just added like a wash to these," I'd be like, "Yeah, that sounds about right." That sounds that sounds like John. Added a wash to yeah. something. Boom. All right. But um, as for my hobby progress, like I said, I've been working on. Dark Angels um, pretty much all the time since then. Uh, oh, I did paint up three of the four, actually the five um, Basalian uh, ships because I wanted to do them fully painted. And of course, I fucked off this entire week because I was going to say like, oh, I'm going to paint the rest of the ships because I'm going to have another game this Saturday with uh, Mike Blanton. Um, so... I should probably get this fully painted because he's going to mostly have a fully painted army now or um, fleet. And I was like, fuck, now I got to speed paint pretty much like two different ships. Um, we'll see how far I get. Hopefully I can get him to like an OK standard. Um, that's all yeah. I'm, that's all I'm shooting for with this game, because even though like I like it, I'm not this. This isn't heresy for me. This isn't like I have to put like my heart and soul into it. I'm just, you know, making sure that they look all right. They look presentable. presentable. Uh, yeah, exactly. Presentable on a battlefield uh, or on a seaboard. Um, but that's what we'll see how far I get. Because the paint job is fairly easy. It's not like a super hard paint job. Um, but um, I did paint three of those ships. I have um, now painted a lot of the these uh, jet bikes. Like I said, now I'm just doing edge highlighting, which is a total pain in the dick, but I'm doing it. Uh, I'm also building up these fucking bad boys, because you know me, and I love my fucking... Uh, oh, that's right. You're doing the snipers. I love my, hey. I love my sniper boys. So uh, I am trying to get those, because those guys will be in a Storm Eagle. Uh, so... Oh, I recently bought uh, with John who went in with an order. Um, I bought some. I believe they're land raider doors, but I'm only gonna use like the side doors, uh, so I can put them on the uh, on the storm eagle on, on the storm eagle and my fire raptor. And then um, I I've have ordered from this site before. Um, I believe it's called Fallout Hobbies. I had bought some decals for Harlequins when I was going to paint up Tony's Harlequins. Um, that just those went into the trash because I didn't fucking want to paint Harlequins. Um, but uh, he did. Uh, but from there, I know that they have different decal sheets. And of course, they have some checkerboard, which, if you don't know about Heresy uh, Dark Angels, um, they were talking about in the books they talk about the different um pretty much like night houses and not like imperial knights but actual like knightly realms um that would slaughter the uh the chaos beasts that they didn't know were chaos beasts they just called them great beasts um yeah so like these different orders um is no, it's called the Order. I think I think they're just called knights. Um, these night houses. What they did was they 
uh, a lot of them ended up using like a lot of the same heraldry and the order in itself uses a lot of like checkerboard patterns um, like in their tile floors and things like that so they use it on the heraldry of the dark angels since the dark angels came out of since uh, lion, the lion like led the order um, which became pretty much like the seed of the dark angels so I'm gonna have to start using a lot of that and they sell a pretty good um, checkerboard sheet for like 10 bucks um, I still am gonna have to get a forge world order uh, I'm still gonna have to order a lot and I mean a fuckload a metric fuck ton of uh, dark angels transfer sheets and I gotta get those fairly quick because forge world are assholes and I'm pretty sure they're gonna stop selling them in the next fucking month or so um, so I'm going to have to buy those pretty quickly. Um, I'm also going to have to buy some of their dice because I know that they came back in order and, uh, luckily they haven't sold out. So I'm going to have to buy some, uh, Legion dice. Yeah. Just trying to look at it right now because I'll go, they just sell out real quick. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah. Yeah. I think they both got some of the prices too. Did they? Fuck. Yeah. I think it was a thing on, um. Well, I don't know. I can't say it's all the way around. So for uh, Custodes and the Telamon Dread, I think they went up. Shit. They were originally like 120 or something like that for a body, and they bumped it up to 150. Jeez. Last thing I saw. But speaking of Forge World, <laughs> check out that Malgars model. You go for that. Ooh. Girl, you know I was all over it. Like fucking stink on a monkey i was fucking in on this um i'm looking at it right now because i love it so much i actually yeah. do really love this As, you know even though it looks I'm not crazy about the head but i mean pretty sure you just you could throw a helmet on it but i like that he's obviously in the book he was real all decrepit and stuff mm -hmm. yeah I, but it does cool yeah i i like the way looks i like that his like he looks different from a lot of the, from you know the other reavers because if you don't know the door behind malagers is he's they called him the twisted and it wasn't just it was like he had that name before his body was wrecked on uh the planet where they met i guess uh i guess it was the samus no it, it wasn't 63 nights it was 63 19 was that the one with like the emperor? Is what they called it? Um, the oh, beginning of the book. Yeah, yeah. Because when, yeah, because he's like writing. What's his name got fucking. What's his name got killed? Yes. Um, Sejanus. Yeah, Sejanus when he gets killed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, he had the name of Twisted before then because he was always like Twisted in like his. Uh, his tactics he was just like a really vicious guy and that's in keeping with it because he's kind of like the company leader for the reavers um and the reavers were like one of the squads that was just like the most like blood lusty and kind of like didn't give a fuck of the sons of or the luna wolves at that point now sons of horus mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, he is kind of like the de facto leader so much so that in the game, um, you can, if you have him as the leader of the right of war, uh, he has a right of war in particular where you have reavers become troop choices. Um, so I definitely will be buying this model. Um, I will be doing some like little gap fillings here and there. Um, because I'm going to paint them up as Luna Wolves, because I don't have Sons of Horus, I all have Luna Wolves. Um, so I hope he does come Ooh. with a uh, helmet, because I think that um, that head is not bad. Um, but it could, it could also just be a, a GW paint job. Yeah, it could also be that as well. Um, but I will kind of, he has like some, like, uh, I guess, like, chaotic nick marks in his uh i mean there's a lot of skulls on there i was wondering will you be keeping the skulls and yes because um uh, uh where they're hmm. from was basically a gang world 
so they were always all fucked up. Like, they were always, like, uh, really, like, violent, and they would, they would carry, like, skulls of people that they killed, um, even mm-hmm. before Horus was there. It was just, like, a fucked up, like, murder world, basically. Um, sort of on, not on the level of, like, Curses and Stramo, but something akin to that. It was, like, a lot of, like, gang strife. Um, so that they would, like, take the heads as tokens. So, like, since he was raised on Cthonia, uh, he was raised in that. So they have that already. Even as Luna Wolves, they had, like, tokens like that. Now, that was yeah. more relegated to the Reavers and the Jasserim that were, like, that's why they have specifically the, even in the uh, Luna Wolves, they had the Eye of Horus. Because Eye of Horus was always a thing. So yes. they had it on them. Um, that was like their emblem. That was their badge. It's like, hey, look, we're first company or we're second company. Um, so yeah, I've done a lot of research for this kind of shit. Uh, so I will be keeping it as is, just uh, basically covering up some of like the little runic chaotic marks. Um, maybe shaving off like the the little like uh, like right below his knee there's like a little downward arrow you know it's kind of chaos oh, yeah. i might shave that down a little bit his boots kind of look a little weird they kind of look like fucking uh fairy boots where they're fucking like pointed up so i'll probably yeah. <laughs> i'll probably you know kind of shave that down a little bit um so like some minor tweaks here and there but i will be keeping it pretty much as is yeah, yeah it doesn't look bad i'm more than sure they'll do an alternative head because i mean it, it looks like they've been doing that for mm-hmm. a lot of your stuff mm-hmm. to like salt salt harvest mm-hmm. and that dude's had long hairs for days mm-hmm. i don't see why not yeah I, I i wouldn't see why they would uh put one uh kind of the same maybe him having like a plume of, as well would be kind of cool mm-hmm. um but oh i do like the I was looking at the what is it? Uh the new word bearers uh Praetor. Just the regular like oh, dude. Man. And I was looking and I was like, man, this is a cool ass fucking model. So I was thinking about using him as a base for a Praetor, uh, because he has like a uh he's pointed out a I think a plasma gun and it has like a little cable like going back to the to the backpack. You know, like to even out like how much he's used it and stuff like that. I was like, oh, it's holy totally fucking Dark Angels. I just gotta use it as a, as a base, fill in any fucking of the runic things, and like, like I said, anything that looks chaos, you like kind of shave it off or like sand it down, kind of things like that, and put a fucking mm-hmm. Dark Angels fucking head on it, some bad boy shit. I'm like, it's it's perfect. It's all golden. Ooh, that's a lot of work. Be a lot of work because I'm seeing. Oh, look at the legs. Look at the legs. All the shit you gotta fill in. That's torso. There's a fucking book on there. Baby, baby. Ooh. To me, a putty. To me, a putty. They have a thinner Pretty. that goes along with this, so it thins it down. Hmm. You literally paint it on. You sand it down. You're fucking done. Easy as fucking pie. So those runic marks ain't no thing. Uh, s- some of the other stuff, yeah, it's gonna take a little bit of work, but either way, it's heresy, baby. Ain't nothing come easy in fucking heresy. It's all resin anyway. <laughs> it's true. Uh, but yeah, I'm to- I'm totally down on this fucking heresy. Um, uh, hopefully, I really am hopeful that this kind of gets them rolling on like a heresy rewrite 2.0? of some rules. Maybe. It leads into Heresy 2.0 we were talking about last time? Possibly. I don't know. Again, it's still a rumor. I don't know if it's going to go that far, but I think they're going to re-examine a lot of these, like the way they went back to the Night Lords. I think they're going to go back to like the Sons of Horus. Um, because the Jostarin, I was playing them, they're fucking terrible. Jostarin mm. are just not a good unit. Like, and any like They're cool to look at. Shit on the battlefield. They have one wound. Like, any oh, any oh, other... Terminators. Tra- well, no, no, because, like, regular Terminators have one wound. But Legion-specific Terminators usually now have two wounds. 
Like, they okay. at least have two wounds. These fucks still have one wound. They come with just bare axes. They're just, they're not good. And they're just kind of like a basic kind of cataphracty. It kind of sucks. Like, they, they just don't, they're, they cost way too much for that. So hopefully they'll they'll retool that a little bit. So hopefully that comes up. But any any more news? Because it looks like we're getting into news. Wow. Yeah, I mean that goes in. I think it's it for heresy. But oh. any other shit that came out was uh, those bark models, those savage bark models mm-hmm. that came out. Yeah. What the fuck were they called? The some people are calling them the primary orcs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're more like savage orcs, I think. Yeah, I'm. I'm trying to look at it right now because I know the uh, Warhammer community had put out, you know, when, when they when they had shown it, but they have like squigs that are uh, like cyborg. Yeah, they're right on squigs. This and if, I think from the trailer that I remember seeing that there was dudes, there was squid, there was like a. Riding on squigs, that they showed off that these new troop savage orcs mm-hmm. look on that uh, trailer. There's also they show a giant war boss, look pretty big, and it's like I guess if you saw the trailer, it's very very close. Like all the stuff they showed them so far, yeah, that wall or whatever, they look very close to what they're putting out. It looks like there's gonna be a, a giant new giant war boss that they'll be probably getting. Not very big in orcs, nor do I know much about orcs besides, you know, all the memes that go with orcs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> but, I mean, I would get some people who stop complaining that all they make is nothing but memes. I'm, pres- I'm pretty sure after they get a good amount of uh, the next primary lieutenant that comes out, I'm pretty sure they'll show us the next war boss. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at the models and they look pretty damn good. Good. I mean, I, I've never been too much of an orc guy either, um, except for the AOS. The I I do actually like the AOS orcs. I think they're really they AOS. Really cool. AOS orcs are like the fucking best. They look like if I was an orc player, mm-hmm. those would be the ones I would use. Yeah, I'd be using a lot of those and uh, like a lot of their bodies and shit. And just mm-hmm. put in like 40k guns and like fucking chains or like chain axes or whatever the fuck they're using. Yeah. Like I would totally do that if I was being an orc player. Just because like I look at like they look cool. They look fine in 40k and they fit the narrative I guess. But I don't know. I think that they would be like some of, at least some of them would be rocking some like heavy ass armor. Like regular troops would be rocking some heavy ass armor too. Mm-hmm. And then like the fucking beautiful thing about orcs is you can just fight like Make it into your lore. You know, they just fucking, yeah. all they do is fucking loot shit. So, like, of course they're gonna, like, oh, they fucking found this planet that has, like, these, like, knightly yeah. looking fucking, like, armor. Okay, cool. They fucking yeah. take it. Boom. Oh, we got it. And then, like, fucking have, like, uh, that big ass, um, dragon, um, the cabbage. I don't know what they call it. I just I always called it the cabbage. Maw Maw, Maw Crusher Maw Crusher, um, the Maw Crusher from AOS is kind of like their centerpiece. I would yeah. love to kind of convert that and like make it like a little mechanical, like fucking like take off like a leg and put like a fucking like, uh, just some other type of like. Fucking dumpster. Yeah, exactly. Like just fucking put like weird shit on it. Like put like a cybernetic face on it. Like just fuck it up completely. And then just be like, oh yeah, that's just a fucking whatever fucking uh, what's what's their big knight yeah. equivalent? Uh, a stop. Uh, it's, it's it's a fucking stompa. Boom, oh, fucking print. It's a stompa. It's just my version of a stompa. Fuck you. Like who's not who's not tell me otherwise? And I don't know. I guess like when I, I guess it's another thing that kind of like I've noticed a lot of people don't do that in forty k. Like, they just don't do what they want to do. I guess because they don't want it to be like, oh, fucking, I don't want people to tell me shit. And, like, 
people like I think there's like a lot of chastising that goes along with fucking like a lot of uh, gatekeeping around there. I guess so. I'm just like, dude, I just want to fucking like do all this. Bull-. Like, I understand. Like, I guess I understand the gatekeeping aspect to it because to a degree, I'm sort of like that. Like, especially with like, there's certain things about heresy that I'm kind of like, nah, you should, probably should have changed that. But in, <laughs> but then I think like, who the fuck am I to tell anybody like you shouldn't do that? Fuck I it, just enjoy do what you want. your hobby. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So like. If I'm gonna play orcs, like, I'm just gonna use fucking AOS orcs. That's all I'm gonna Dude, do. Dude, orcs, orcs should be the one get out of free jail car where you just do whatever the fuck you want. I think I mean, it is. That, was that one meme where just like a uh, orc player throws so much shit to the point where just like, all right, now you just fucking around. <laughs> You're not even trying to make it that big a shit. <laughs> just throw random so pieces together. Pieces. <laughs> yeah. And that's the thing, it's just like, just fucking, like that, there's that, that uh, thing that John shows all the time. It's the one where it's like a rhino, and it's four different orcs that make up a rhino, because they're just carrying like the rhino pieces yeah. as like a shield. I'm like, oh, that's fucking perfect. Yeah. Like, just do weird ass shit like that with orcs, and it's perfectly fine. Yeah, for the for the one faction that's supposed to be the comic relief in mm-hmm. the Grimdark universe. Or as, as I like that the the comic relief is still just like savage beaters that mm-hmm. go around and just kill and beat the shit out of people. Yeah, it's always funny, like when you when you hear like when you hear people talk about orcs, they're just like, oh, they're just fucking like hooligans and they're looting everything. <laughs> Big old goofs. Yeah, then like you hear them in the lore and they're like they fucking tear the world apart in fucking two days, or it's just like they're like complete fucking like. Like, this scary fucking thing. Like, they're nine feet tall, fucking red-eyed fucking monsters with, like, mouths the size of a car. Like, they're fucking insanely scary. But, like, everybody's like, ah, they're fucking horrible. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I've always found that fucking <laughs> fascinating about people. Like, oh, they're like the fucking, look at the fucking this cute guy's face. I think that's, I think that's the one thing. I mean... Everyone takes the, they go the meme, the meme lore thing, mm-hmm. where the whole, the whole fucking, whole fucking Warhammer stuff is just nothing but big contradictions, one after another. Like, the two factions I like, like Krieg, at one point they're supposed to be elite soldiers, but at the second point they're supposed to be, you know, if you're elite, that means you train for, there's not going to be a whole lot of you. Yeah. For the same token, the dudes you just throw in the fucking meat grinder. Mm-hmm. Addiction is that, or the same thing with the custodians. It's just like, oh, they're superhuman, way better than a space marine. And you read one lore, it was just like, oh, some Harlequins uh, broke into the, uh, broke into the Imperial Palace, and you know, just off to, so just a few of them. Yeah, it's like three hundred of them. Nothing. <laughs> it's always like these huge contradictions. Yeah, of like their lore, like yeah, not exactly. being like completely consistent because of, but it it, it is like in keeping with like oh you read about history and you read it from two different sides it's two completely yeah. different stories so like yeah if you're telling it from this side of the story like harlequins are going to be badass you're going to take out like elite warriors uh like yeah. in a matter of seconds like oh, okay and then you read custodians like nah i'm fucking tis but a flesh wound like <laughs> yeah i think it was like in a let's see what was the one i read the one with uh wasn't Betrayer. What was the Logar one that I just fucking recently read? Uh, the first Heretic. Yeah, it's the first Heretic, and it gets it gets to the part where like Lorgar is in a in a fucking hut with all the all the uh, which what are the people from? Oh, from Katie, like the first Katians, mm-hmm. basically. God, uh, the first Katians and shit, and uh, have a. Hotel there, and they have the one fucking custodian, custodian that's been giving them a fucking hard time. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, the custodian's just like, "Nah, we gotta. I'm gonna go fucking tell Big Daddy E." And they're just like, "Nah, don't fucking tell him." He's like, "Well, I'm gonna fucking tell him." And all of a sudden, they attack him, they kill him, <laughs> yeah, the, break him apart. I don't think Lorgar did anything. It was like Argo Tau who did. Yeah, Argo Tau did. And apparently, the fuck out of him to the point where like. He was like brain dead, but he was still alive, just looking at them. Yeah. 
Yeah, they, didn't they like they stabbed just, him like through like his whole body, right? Like I yeah, thought they stabbed him through his whole body. Like that, like where he's just like hanging on like yeah. on a skewer, right? Like he's just like like yeah. pretty much. Yeah, and he's still he's still alive the whole time. Too. Yeah. Yeah, so you read that and you're like, all right, well, he got taken out pretty quick. And then you get to like the end where it's just like the main, the main custodian guy with like three or four of them. Mm-hmm. And they real quick were like, oh, they bum rushed each other. And then Argo Tao ripped his head out. I was like, whoa, wait, what? I mean, he's the twin soul, bro. Did you know he got, he got possessed by, uh, by chaos? You know how hard those things are hard to kill. He's, uh, he's the first. Uh, Gal Vorbeck. Come on, bro. You gotta you gotta you gotta respect the game. <laughs> now I'm starting to think that maybe they just gave him like the rejected custodians that were there. Just yeah. Like, they're, yeah. They're like the bums that just always watch, pretty much the, the fucking one slackers that that are real slow to react to shit. Like uh, they should they should be able to handle some word bearers. <laughs> Anyone should be able to handle world or world bears. <laughs> the fucking uh, they're like the ones that get caught like in the first like five minutes of the blood games, you know. Like there's like these badass mm. guys that are doing blood games for like fucking twenty years to get to the fucking golden throne, and then fucking these guys are like, they were you're hiding in that box. I'm like, fuck. All right. <laughs> <laughs> they were the fat kids that got uh, left in the pit. Just like. Uh, <laughs> So they're like, oh, all the, all the teams are even. Like, well, there's six of us. You could just split it. Like, nah. I like to keep like a even 30, 30, 33, you know? <laughs> Three here, 33 there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, that, that's what it is. Go home. <laughs> uh, at least two of us. I mean, two of us can sit it out and have a nice 35. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> You're good, but don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, what about these uh, word bears yeah. I keep hearing about? <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, I think you're supposed to uh, babysit them or something. Ah, oh, come on, man! I'm fucking. I'm one of the the biggies elites. To... It's like, oh, we're supposed to like bring them heal. Nah, nah, the Ultramarines got it. Yeah, they're they... supposed to take them after. <laughs> yeah, I remember like fucking okay. Gilliman blew up like their entire like fucking like one city that everybody cared about. They actually made that girl like watch and made her go blind. Come on, man! Like they got it. We just gotta, yeah, you know, we just, we just gotta keep Logar in line every once in a while. He's going like, "Hey, I'm fucking reading this book." He's like, "Hey, hey, hey let me tell you about that book reading." <laughs> you know, we know a little something about book reading. We're gonna go tell. Yeah, like I think too, someone just like, oh, though, every time you tried to go tell the emperor something, we we caught that relay and kept it here. Mm-hmm. Like, how do you not know? That? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So, but you can just like easily explain like, oh, it's chaos, chaos. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, dude. Yeah, exactly. It's like the fucking chaos is the greatest scapegoat of all time. They're just like, yeah, they did it because of fucking chaos. Like chaos fucking gave the power to do this. Second, second to a uh, house legion, just in general. Yeah, exactly. When when it comes to writing, you can just write yourself in a corner and just be like, oh, uh, chaos, house legion shenanigans. <laughs> That is very true. I'm gonna try to stay away from that for the uh, Omida Syndax campaign. I'm gonna try to keep uh, Alpha yeah. Legions to a, to a minimum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I forgot how we got how we got to this point. I have no idea. About but, uh, it's just oh, I think we we're talking just like contradictions inside Warhammer. Mm. There you go. There you go. That's how we got there. Oh, it started off with the works. <laughs> yeah, it started off with the works. Fair enough. God damn it. Um, but is there any more any more news? I guess it's just a news episode, really. We just fucking catch up on oh, some yeah, news. Pretty much. Just other shit that came out. Um, let's see. It came out with that hired guns video game for PlayStation oh. Five, I think. Yeah, I think it's just PlayStation. Yeah. I think I think it's four and five. I'd be stupid if they just made it for five and it'd be like, yeah, now PS4 is fucked up, <laughs> and then you can't get PS5. So, um, 
But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's on Steam as well. Um, it's a Necromunda game. So I did mm-hmm. see the the trailer. Me and, me and uh, Mark watched the trailer. I'm getting Doom heavy vibes. So I'm, I'm calling it Doom meets fucking uh, Vermintide. That's what I'm getting out of it. I didn't play Vermintide, but it was interesting enough. I mean, Vermintide is basically a Left 4 Dead clone. If you play Left 4 Dead. Okay. I mean, it's it's basically that. Uh, so it's just set in 40k. You're part of Necromunda gangs, which are like Goliath. Um, sure. I think I saw some Escher in there. Those chicks. Yeah. I think uh, you're just basically a mercenary or a hired gun and shit. And you're just doing bullshit. I would seriously doubt they do like a. What is it? I doubt they do like a major story driven thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know how story driven it is. Something like uh, Space Marines. Yeah. Everyone. Or you play as a, you'll probably play as an Australian man who just like, oh, he just called me and shoot some sticky licks over there real, real quick. We'll pay you whatever we're paying. I gotta go ride my, my uh, mechanical kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go hitch a ride. <laughs> Pay you in a imperial uh, dollar dues. <laughs> it was <laughs> fucking awful. But I mean, of course, like fucking, I was telling Mark, I was like, of course, Necromunda would be like more Australian, like sounding more than anything, because it's just fucking gangs fighting amongst each other. It's just fucking, it's basically like a prison world. <laughs> it's just basically Australia. <laughs> I don't you know why. You really know their roots. Australia or something. Give them the give them the underhive stuff. Yeah, exactly. But, and, something to have. But man, like I gotta say, Australia in the paint game, like I see so many fucking different painters from Australia, and they're like, yeah, just a little bit of fucking whip, like you know, work in progress, and it's like something I could never do. I'm like, why do I even fucking bother? <laughs> <laughs> and then I started. It's- I started it's, thinking because their models, their models cost like almost eight times than what we do. So, painting mm. something like that, you better, you better, it. you better be a game. <laughs> There's no like, oh, I'm just gonna go down to the game shop and just look for some bits for it. Mm-hmm. Like what bits? We gotta order entire models. <laughs> you know what? I do, I do miss. Uh, I I do. Uh, I hear because I I can't miss it i guess i missed it but i didn't i can't miss it um is it didn't make any sense um that gw used to do like they used to sell bits like bits by the pound essentially mm-hmm. like the uh, bag of bits fuck man i wish they would do that now but they can't like everything's like pushed to fit basically and they can't do it now but i really wish that there was like some and I know that you can probably go like on eBay and just be like, "Hey, there's a fucking bag of bits," but there's no curating at all. It's probably just gonna be like shit bits of like, "Hey, here's a fucking light from a land speeder that I'm never gonna use." And be like, "Awesome! Now I'll never use it." For that, or you can't do it in a COVID world where it's like a heroes they have that tub of bits. Mm. That's almost like a death sentence. <laughs> yeah, I know. I look at it, I'm like, I'm not putting my hand in there. <laughs> like, I'd rather just not. Better pay, better pay me. <laughs> <laughs> you pay me $3 to look at that, and I'm going to pay half price. So just give me $1.50. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll pick a couple of things up. You just pick up my hospital bill after this. <laughs> Luckily, it's medical center and fucking right down the road. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They got uh, the well med down there too. Yeah, exactly. Boom, print it. <laughs> Why am I not sticking my hand in there then? <laughs> <laughs> I just go in with a bag and be like, I think I got something. Fucking just test me. <laughs> <laughs> but. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens with with Necromunda video games. Honestly, I haven't played any video games. So. Mm-hmm. Been here. 
it's hard. It's hard. Just thinking about it. I mean, they put they put Mechanicus on Switch, and even I haven't justified to buy that yet. I heard it's good, but yeah, it's like a Diablo clone, right? Yeah, it's like a dungeon dungeon crawler and shit. Maybe. It's really good. I don't know if it's like a multiple times play, but like for us, all policy. They have it like a fifty percent off. I'll buy it. Check out a cheap ass game room on Instagram. They show you a whole bunch of deals every day, so it's possible if they could have it. That's it. You can know. Uh, but yeah, yeah, we'll we'll see. Maybe maybe I'll buy a Switch, and we'll fucking it'll justify us playing fucking mechanics. <laughs> all right. Um. What what else what else we got? Um, I don't know. I was gonna say about Bellacore, but I mean, do you really care about Bellacore though? The model looks cool, and I was thinking like, oh, he's like just generic enough that like I can play him as a regular demon. Mm-hmm. Um, for. Uh, the in heresy they have uh, demons of the ruin storm, and you can do like unaligned kind of uh, faction with just like random ass demons. So you can use basically like any kind of horror models that you can find. Um, and yeah, it's just like boom, fucking it's a demon. Yeah. So I was I think thinking. Forty bucks, but I mean you can't play it in Sigmar forty k. I would most likely just leave that Primaris body off of there and just be like, boom, now we got it. That's fucking that's heresy, baby. I'll just put a dead fucking a dead like Mark Three Marine on there. Boom, we're in like sin. Then he'll be a. Uh, He'll just be a uh, a demon prince equivalent, which I don't. That's the one thing I haven't done in Heresy. I haven't looked up Demons of the Ruin Storm because I always said Demons of the Ruin Storm were gonna be a half army with my Emperor's children. So we'll see how that goes. But speaking, I just fucking remembered they just showed off those AOS models, the Slanesh models, and. Oh, that's right. The, the, fucking, the, the, yeah. the Talon and the Voice of Slanesh or something. I think they're called that. The Talon of Slanesh mm-hmm. and, the, and the Voice of Slanesh. They, I, it looks like a dual kit, so they're not that far off. It looks like it's using the same body, um, the same like robe. It just looks like the, the, the actual like backing cape or like I guess it's a cape or whatever the fuck. Um, is different, so. yeah, yeah. and just like the head and like some like the hands are basically different. Um, but I definitely like the voice of Slanesh better, which is the one that has like she has he she whatever it is uh, has like use, the, use, use the right pronouns. I don't know what it's from. It's a it's an it. It's a fucking demon. So I guess it has. Um, like, uh, I guess, like a rope or some shit in its hand. Uh, and I was looking at the face, and I was like, oh, the face looks kind of, like, I don't know why they do, like, the whole, like, two, like, extruding horns out of the chin kind of thing with their new Slanesh models. I'm not a super huge fan of it, but I was like, oh, just green stuff, and it's just a big chin. Or, like, shave those down into, like, a moderately sized chin, and it's fine. Um, so I do like the the um, the voice of Slanesh more. guess the horns are, are selling points. That's what they did with, what's his name, the uh, uh, Sig- Sigvald of Slanesh? Sigvald? Sigvald, is that, yeah. He has those fucking bullhorns on him too. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the bullhorns are a new thing. Got it. New thing. That's what I guess. I guess they're trying to get away from the boobs and trying to go more bullhorns on it. 
I guess, but like those new Sonesh models are like pretty androgynous. They're kind of like, you know, they're they're in that line. So I'm like, hey, they look, they they just kind of look like what they always talk about with Sonesh. Um, so I was looking at them. I was like, damn, these these actual models look really cool. I was thinking about using some creature caster uh, stuff for uh, demons uh, for Sonesh for the the yeah. demons of the Runestorm. And now I'm kind of like, man, GW's kind of hitting out of the park with these in particular, so I might buy these. Again, uh, they could just transfer that over to 40k and give us some new Emperor Emperor Children models. You know, bits. you know, I'd settle that stuff a bit too. You know, if they actually did that, I think that would draw me back into 40k. Like, so I think so because I've always I've always loved Emperor's Children. I've had, I I love fucking pink and purples and fucking badass colors. So if I can just I was gonna do Emperor's Children for Heresy anyway. They were gonna be my traitor. They're they're going to be my traitor legion. So I mean if I can have fucking like cool ass fucking bigger size chaos models, because like if you look at the chaos models that they do now, the Chaos Space Marines, they're just bigger. like they're just a little bit bigger. They're not like a ton bigger. They're not primaris size and they're not necessarily like regular size. They're like right in between. So I'm like, oh, okay, they look fucking cool. So if they you... even I think even the Emperor's children bits that sell the resin ones, they don't they look I've heard they look kind of weird, especially on the newer models. Mm, get... Okay. Kind of get like a T Rex kind of like, <laughs> but oh, but uh, I think if I'm not mistaken, Cromlock actually has some like beefed up ones. If I'm not mistaken, I think they do like Primaris sized fucking Sonic blasters mm-hmm. and shit. Uh, but if not, I know Pop Goes the Monkey does it as well. So they would probably be another one to to look at. Um. But yeah, I think if they actually said like, "Look, fucking Emperor's Children is gonna get its own Codex supplement, like end all be all, it will be its own faction," I'm fucking in like sin. I would, I would, I would definitely consider going back to 40k for that. Mm-hmm. So, so we'll see. I mean, GW, if you want my money, I mean, you're getting it already. It doesn't really fucking matter. <laughs> um, but. They'll probably give you a box set that will uh, sell out within the within the week and not do it again. Yeah, exactly. Oh god, fuck, fuck GW. Sometimes I honestly, I'm real. I'm really sick. That's why I don't fucking play 40k because bullshit like that, and I have to keep buying. Not even that. The fucking Curse City. The way that was like they had some cool ass models, and they were telling that like, oh no, this is gonna be a permanent. Uh, it's gonna be a permanent stay wasn't they fucking tried to delete some of those comments mm-hmm. that they said yeah on twitter they tried Dude. to delete the shit and they'll just be like no it's just this is it it was the it was the one time run first edition that's it mm-hmm. first edition <laughs> fuck off like it's it's I, I but i why like what what possibly does it say like why why would they just know. do that is it because they're like oh shit it's too good of a deal like, there's too many fucking vampire accounts, or whatever they're calling them in AOS. There's too mm-hmm. many fucking vampires in here. We can't fucking... There's too good of a deal. We can't fucking have people buy this. So, what we'll do is, like... Dude, they're this... selling for, like, 200 bucks. 200 bucks. Like, their deals are, what, like, one-something? I think in new, it was, like, 180 or something. They're selling... That's some places are selling at 200 bucks. Yeah. I mean... 200 bucks is at least a big consideration. It is, but that's the thing. It's just like there's no reason. F- so basically, they don't want Curse City to be a thing. Like they just don't. Because why would you? Why would you even make a? They made a fucking separate book for it, like a novel for it, and then you're saying like, oh yeah, we're not. We're now. Now we're done. It's <laughs> fucking stupid. I fucking hate wanted to, We wanted to dip our toes in a new game just real quick. And how we sold right, right when it got 
sent out with her like, we've done it. Scratch off the bucket list. We're done. <laughs> it just doesn't make, like, what Completed sense it. does that make? If if it's because, like, oh, we have to, like, basically we only made this amount. It's going to take us a long time to, like, restock this. And we don't know if people are going to be interested. Then f- communicate that to people. Instead of just fucking being dipshits and just being like, oh no, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna reprint it. Don't worry about it. And then a uh, fucking few hours later, be like, oh, we're actually not gonna reprint it. Bye. Yeah, my bad. Oops. Like fucking oh, fuck. Fuck, bro. <laughs> God damn it. And and again, like this is the reason why, like I look at some of this this stuff. Like I look at especially AOS because I do look at AOS and be like, man, they have really cool fucking models that I like. Yeah. And I know that it doesn't matter. Like this Broken Realm stuff. If you want to know about Broken Realms, go to a channel on YouTube called Two Plus Tough. He's basically broken down all the the Broken Realms. Uh, so like the Marathi books, um, the uh, Techless book, and he's now doing the the Bellacore book. Because I guess he gets it early and he was just doing the lore for it. A fucking awesome story. Like, the one thing that people are, like, saying, like, oh, fucking. Like, the one thing is I do love fantasy. I love old fantasy. But a good story is a good story. And for AOS, like, they actually have a decent story that's going on right now. If you buy into the world. So, it's pretty good. I, I, I honestly really do like it. Um... And I wouldn't mind, and I've told John, I'm like, man, is it weird that I just want to buy these books to have these books? Because I would like to read them. And then the design, like, I don't know fucking why. I guess I do know why. They look like the End Times books. Like, if you look at the End Times books, they have, like, this, like, great fucking artwork that has, like, Warhammer End Times. And then it has Nagash or whatever. And it's just this good, big-ass, like, badass picture of Nagash. And the Marathi, like the Broken Realms thing, kind of remind me of that, like a little bit, not to that extent, but they have that sort of feel for it. So when I look at those books, my impulse is just like, I need that, like I want to buy that. Like the immediate impulse is there to buy it. But then I think about it, I'm like, I don't even fucking play it. I sold all my shit for this game. Like, why am I going to buy these books for this? Um. So I, I you're a fool. I am. You're goddamn fool. That's why. Yeah, I'm. I'm a complete fucking sucker. Like GW has me by the nuts, and they know it. And that's why I fucking hate it when they do like shit like Curse City. And it's just like, well, why are you doing this? Like, yeah. And why aren't you communi- communicating anything about Horus Heresy? You're giving us this tidbit of Malagers, which is cool. Like you showed us a new model. Awesome. That's not coming out for four months. Somebody's done the fucking math, and I told you about it. We're only getting like one or two fucking heresy models in four to five months. So it's kind of like, fuck, man. Like, even though I see Malagris and I want it, it's, but guess what? As soon as you get this, you gotta wait another four or five months to yeah. the end of the year, basically. Yeah. And then you're going to, and then guess what? You're not gonna make enough because you never do, and you're gonna fucking sell out, and then people like me are gonna be like, fuck, I wanted that model, I can't get I don't. I wouldn't have the money at that time. Or what have you? There's gonna be a, a. There's gonna be more people in my circumstances. So they're just gonna scalp it, just because obviously they never, they never fix that whole scalping problem. It's gonna sell out as soon as it comes no. up. Comes up. There's no way they can. Like, how do you fix that? Like, because they say, oh yeah, you can only limit to this many. It doesn't fucking matter because they're gonna have multiple people with multiple accounts with these fucking robot sites they're like yeah we'll get you fucking uh six this is this much money so we'll get you six accounts uh that's 12 boxes of this shit all right cool i'll just pay the fucking money yeah so it's it there's no way to mitigate it unless you literally do like one per customer for some of the shit but either way this is how it goes. That's just the way it goes. You gotta accept it. That was rant chapter. That, that was fucking chapter 10. R- rant. <laughs> rant in the dark. 
because that's all it is. I'm just fucking yelling in the dark. I'm just fucking like, fuck you, GW. And GW is just like, huh? I was counting money. What's up? So, paying paying the models that you got? Yeah. Fucking buy some more. Yeah. Fucking asshole. I'm going to buy some more. Piece of shit. I love the game, by the way. Yeah. I love your game. Fucking dickheads. <laughs> but yeah, uh, uh, but yeah, like I said, if you are interested at all in like the AOS story and what's going down, uh, two plus stuff like breaks down lore videos. He like tells you like what led up to it. Like he gives you like I think he does like five episodes or six episodes per Broken Realm, and one of them is like a catch up. Like hey, this is what happened here. Um, this is what leads up to this book. Okay, here we go. And then he kind of just like goes into it and kind of he has an enthusiasm for like going into the lore and that like reads very well uh when you're watching the video so it's it's some good stuff i think he just put out another one today i had to double check uh, but is there anything else any other bits of news you want to talk about for you that's it that's all i had yeah me and me and uh me and Mark, we're like, oh, what are we going to talk about? You know, because like, this was kind of a last minute thing because John couldn't join me. I wanted to record this so we could have something out. And asked Mark, and we're like, oh, what are we going to talk about? Oh, we'll talk about books and shit. And we just ended up talking about <laughs> hobby progress Man, and all this other shit to, way too long. Talked about talked about First Heretic for a little bit. There you go. There's your fucking book we, club. We did, a, we did a small little book, book review. <laughs> It's uh, uh, book review. What do you our pat our patented fucking TM five star system? What do you give first heretic? Of uh, first heretic, I thought, thought it was I liked it for a bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, just kind of reinforced how much of a a pansy mogul card is, mm-hmm. and how much of a how much he's under the thumb of. Of Corferon and Erebus, well, mostly Corferon, because half the time, every time he says something, Corferon's like, "Shut up, boy! Just fucking shut up." <laughs> <laughs> At least Erebus tries to play the part of a politician, where he's like, "Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll pander a bit to you, but throw a condescending like." But uh, let's see, give it. Uh, I, I give it. Uh, I give it a. a Four out of five. Yeah, I was about to say. I was Reading, like, yeah. I was like, I I give it a solid four out of five. Like it's it's a it's a really four good book. Five. Um, it actually did make me like Lorgar a little bit. Like mm-hmm. at least like I wouldn't say pity him because I don't I don't think it's pity. I think it's like more sympathy. Like I can like sympathize like mm-hmm. like with his the way he thinks. You mm-hmm. know when he's like. What the f- like you just you basically destroyed my city for which you, you know uh for just denying what you know is true. Yeah, not so much that he said. You no, know, sure we most people will go and just turn to compliance, but I then like when I when we leave, we we'll actually venerate you and they'll love you for it. Mm-hmm. Like other. Uh, is they just fucking destroy shit and just leave. Mm-hmm. Like, I guess I'm staying here and making them up the terms of being compliant and not just like seeing, like eventually they'll just turn over and rebel against, mm-hmm. rebel against you, you know? I mean, and that's, I mean, that's sort of, that's sort of thoughtful the way he was talking to, he was talking about that yeah. a bit too. But everyone's already complained. Complains to, Whoever's in the room with us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> especially. What? I was saying, especially too, like during the drop site massacre too, where he's just like, oh, fuck, this is not what I would like. As soon as he, he sees Ferris kill, or as soon as he sees Fulgrim kill Ferris, he's like, oh, shit. He has like this weird, uh, awkward flashback where like him and Ferris were like kind of cool for a yeah. quick second, but Ferris was still like, hi, you save me, have this, and just leave me alone. <laughs> and he's like, oh, you kind of had like a cool moment with the brother. Yeah, and that's the, that's the, like the thing about the, I guess that's what it embodies like 
best about Lorgar is him just being like, when that happens, like him confronts it, like, oh shit, like we're on a road that we can't turn back from now. Yeah. Like, because it was all like, yeah, we're gonna like, yeah, like our sons are gonna die. Yeah, like our sons are gonna die. You accepted that. But now I know that we can die. And he's like, fuck. Like, full. Ferris was like one of the few that actually tolerated him. And he's just like, mm. oh, god damn it. All right. And it, that's when it becomes like something for him. But there is a part. Oh, I was going to say, there's another part in that book. Um, there is the Lorgar Primarch book, like the solo Primarch book. Where it shows like how he um, pacifies Colchis, and that sort of give that feeds really well into First Heretic in terms of like okay. that that um, that dynamic between Lorgar and Corferon. Like you know what I mean? Okay. Like there's a there's like there's a, a fatherly dynamic. You know what I mean? Like he is constantly like in that. Primark book, Lorgar is constantly just looking for the approval of Corferon. Like just constantly just looking for it. Like validate him in any way as his son. Because he's just like, oh yeah, like Corferon is like, oh yeah, I can use you as a weapon. Like you're I can see that you're more powerful than pretty much anything. So if I can get you on my side, then you know, we'll we'll pacify it and we can go under our banner of religion. And mm-hmm. Like the way he like manipulates him into doing that sort of thing, and then how that's played out in the first heretic, where he's like re manipulating him back into the old ways of cultures, yeah. into the chaos ways. So, like, there's a really cool like that book feeds really well into like the first heretic. So, I yeah. actually did like that a lot. Um, you get to see more daddy issues, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you see where they all stem from. Uh, but yeah, first heretic is, is a, at least like a really well written book. Um, there's some, like, twirly mustache kind of thing that is just unavoidable with the fucking word bearers. It just is, because they're just, yeah. they're just evil. Like, they're just, like, those mustache twirling evil guys. So, it, it's, it's difficult, but there, there's a lot of, like, cool moments in that book that, I, I again, like, I, I sympathize with Lorgar a little more and, and like him. But, I mean, uh, Korax just should have killed him. He just should have fucking oh, ripped out he, his insides. He was, he was gonna, but... Uh, yeah, Kurt, yeah, fucking Kurz. He was, and, even, dick shit. and even at that, Kurz, Kurz said, like, this is your fucking one. Like, next yeah. time, done. Yeah. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, there's a little bit of book club. If you do like the book club idea, let us know because me and Mark have had this idea of doing a book club where we actually cover heresy books and some 40k books. I know that me and him have been getting into um, Eisenhorn. the Eisenhorn series, which I've already finished two books. Uh, I got to start on the third one, which I think is Hereticus. I knew Xenos and I was in and out of it, but I'll... I got the gist of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the next one is uh, Hereticus. Yeah. Oh, but I did read or read, listen to uh, Luther, First of the Fallen. That was another cool book. Um, it's basically just a bunch of short stories that expand on Luther's life, so it's worth a read. It really is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and it flashbacks like back and forth. It has like a really like good way of like telling you those stories in a very simple way. So yeah, I recommend it highly. But I gotta say, it actually, I actually got a credit right now too. So if you will let me know what book I should get into. Next. Oh yeah, leave it in the comments below. But if book, not, I'm just gonna probably get book two of Eisenhorn. It was okay. I still like the first one better. I'll say that. I'm, build, I'm building up so I can read, I guess, the Raven, Ravenous? Ravenous? Ravenor. 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 Just so I can eventually get to the, the uh, Beckwin series. 
Beckwin series. Yeah, pretty much. yeah. I think everybody's like kind of on that Beckwin series right now. Yeah, especially now they're like, oh, she's pariah. And guess what? Alfair's boots did her fucking <laughs> Alpha Legion shenanigans. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get it too, so it doesn't matter. But I have to say that's the end of this chapter 10 for the Lost Chapters. I've been your host, Roman, and... Not John. All right. And I guess that's the end. Bye. Oh, I got to stop this because I got to pee.